say that it feels right What's up everyone? I got some auto synchor farms I want to share and the first one is going to be Rosa. So I have two strategies for this one. It depends. But for the first strategy is you need to challenge Skyla in the main story. And this only works if your Rosa has zero out of 20 tickets. So any higher, I, I think even one ticket would just ruin the process. I know two tickets is, won't work on this. So, but if your Rosa has zero out of 20, this is per this is a perfect stage for you to farm Syncorp. It's really fast for Rosa. And farming Syncorp for Rosa should be a priority. Get that done as soon as possible. Um, the Battle V is coming out soon and having Rosa's Sync Grid is going to help out, uh, in my opinion, because, you know, Rosa, you can increase her uh, tankiness or all that, um, her Giga Drain, you know, she could, in case her health drops, she just brings it back up, fills up move gauge. All right. And moving on. If your Rosa has more than one, more than zero tickets, your next option would be to challenge Karina. Now, my Rosa is still zero out of 20, but I try to like increase all the special attack I can with the sync grid, with gear, just to mimic the same power level as a, some of, as a Rosa who had two tickets out of 20. You know, any higher, I wouldn't know, but you would have to test it. Go higher into the main stories. But here's Rosa doing what she does. So, of course, time to energize. And it's going to follow up with a Giga Drain. As usual, Giga Drain for the next opponent. But eventually, it's going to get to a point where Rosa is going to finally use the sync move and obtain the sync orb so this method is relatively fast it's not as fast as the first one but still works moving on to our next sync pair it's going to be erica and we're going to the strike course for super hard level and here i am going to build a team um so obviously we're going to have Erica, but we're going, going to partner her up with Rosa. It's a really great sync pair. Um, I, I think if you have the gear to increase the special attack, go for it. Keep in mind, my Erica has um, four stars. The no, She starts off with three stars, so uh, just keep that in mind. Maybe, maybe this team will work, maybe it won't. There's no going back once you increase the power level. But here's the team, and it usually starts off with uh, time to energize, and then the whole match is just uh, both of them powering up, buffing up, and then we have a stun spore. This team might not be as fast, but you know, it's good enough. I don't, I don't think there's another team. There could be another team as fast as this one. But there goes the sync move. And as soon as that sync move lands, uh, it's going to be easy for Erica to just sweep the team. I just wish it would have just one shot in the side mons. But yeah, there we go. Alright, moving on to our third sync pair. It's going to be Haxorus. So for this level, we're going to the strike course and ultra hard level uh, i do want you to note that my haxorus is four stars it's usually three stars so maybe it won't work for you but if you have a four star here it is so we're gonna partner up haxorus with skyla this is a good team composition as skyla will fill the gauge for haxorus and then haxorus just sweeps the the other team no gear, but like I mentioned, if you are, if you have three stars, adding gear wouldn't affect it. Here we go. 
I also forgot to mention that if you want to use an auto clicker, you can you can definitely use one for all these methods. You just have to figure it out for the first method, which is in main story. You know how it doesn't have like a a repeat button. You just gotta keep clicking it, battle, and then yeah. You just have to figure it out. But you can definitely use an auto clicker if that's your thing. I'm just saying, if that's your thing, you can do it. Anyways, um, there goes the sync move with Haxorus, and uh, you know, after all that buffing up, the speed, the, the attack, it's going to be an easy uh, way for Haxorus to sweep the team with Outrage. Now, with this, it could take long, or you know, it could be fast depending on RNG. You know, obviously, Haxorus is going to definitely hit herself with um, uh, confusion. Um, sadly, there's no way to get rid of that confusion, but there it is. And easy as that. Moving on to our last sync pair, Claire. We're going to the level up course. Super hard level. I do want to let you know my Claire is 4 star and not 3 star. So, um keep that in mind but you want to increase your special attack as much as you can uh, with gear with the sync grid it's gonna help you out because during the match Claire won't boost her special attack it's just gonna keep dropping I don't have a team though for a three star you could try the same team and you know the other courses but I'm not really sure so it's up to you to figure that out or you could find someone who's found a team for Claire. Anyways, moving on to the match. Claire's going to start off with uh, Draco Meteor, of course. And without care of the special attack, uh, it's going to drop drastically. But Rosa over here is going to help out with the move gauge, keeping the flow of the match. And more Draco Meteors. I think it also helps if uh, with Rosa Syncret, if you can um, unlock the MP refresh for time to energize, maybe it'll help to make this faster. So you could try that, but here we go. A sync move. And is it enough to finish her off? Uh, it wasn't enough. It actually wasn't enough. So uh, sometimes it is. It's just RNG, but there we go. Hope that helped. Peace out.